Hey everyone, my name is Lexi Marcella, and today I'm just going to show you how I do a braid out on my natural hair. So this is pretty much uh, my hair after I co-washed it, and I'm just drying it with a microfiber towel. And so basically what I do is I wet my hair again. Um, for me, the best way to get the best style for me is always to ha start out with my hair like soaking wet. So I'm just like re-wetting it. Okay, so now I'm just going to start to detangle my hair, and the best way for me to detangle my hair is to divide it into sections. Usually I'll do like smaller sections, but just depending on my mood and how ruly my hair is the previous day. So I'm using the Kinky Curly Knot today, and I'm basically using the little bit that I have left. But I use that, it's really great for detangling my hair. So. Uh, what I do is to detangle my hair again like I said is just take smaller sections and I just rake the kinky curly knot today in my hair and I also have been using the Carol's Daughter hair milk the leave-in moisturizer this is like a new product for me sorry it's not focused but um, it's just with the orange label um, this is a new product for me I've never tried it but definitely I can tell you uh, it definitely has made my hair so much more shinier. Like, that's the first thing that I noticed, which I really, really like. I want my hair to just be shinier, but this definitely does that for me. I wouldn't say it's great for detangling, but that's why I have the curly knot today. Um, so to detangle, I start from my ends and work my way up, just taking my time, thoroughly getting all of the knots out. Especially when you're doing, like, a manipulative hairstyle, you definitely want your hair to be smooth and tangle-free. basically I've done that throughout all my hair sections all of it off you guys know how it goes I didn't need to show you all that but uh, now I'm just using some coconut oil and just um, melting that in my hands and then I just distribute it throughout my hair just for some added moisture and to seal in the moisture that's already in my hair so now I'm just gonna part it you can part it however you like um, but for me to get the most amount of volume what I do is I braid it in one direction and then in the end when I take it out I will flip it the opposite and it'll give us give me so much more volume you can see later on in the video what I mean by that uh, but yeah see um, I'm just doing pr basically two braids you can do as many braids as you like but I actually wear mine for a protective hairstyle for about maybe like three days or so and then I'll take it out just so it's completely dry it takes forever for my hair to dry so this really works well for me just to leave it in for like maybe two days minimum for sure. It doesn't, I can't leave it in overnight. It's still wet in the morning. Sorry. So I'm just sectioning off one half of my hair. And so now for this next, I'll just like re-wet it, add some more products if I feel necessary. And then two for some added hold. Um, I will use the Eco Styler gel, but you can use pretty much any gel or any any product that you feel holds your hair the best. But since I wear this as a protective style, I want it to look neat, so gel always works the best for me. So I distribute it throughout all of my hair, and I just basically am just smoothing down my hair, especially by my roots and everything. And I just begin to braid. I do those inside out braids. Um, it's called Dutch braid or how you would corn roll. It's just pretty much preference, I guess. I like the braid on the outside versus the inside. And I'll try my best to explain how I braid. But for uh, the first section of my hair, I just braid, do a couple braids. But I just grab three sections and just braid like normal, like that. And then I start to continue to braid but I just grab sections underneath my hair um, I don't grab all of the hair I kind of since my hair is so thick I kind of cheat and I just grab like the outer sections of my hair I don't necessarily grab the completely what's underneath the braid um, if that even makes sense but 
I'm sure you um, can just watch other videos or if you'd like I can do another video on how I braid but you know it's just one-on-one -on -one braiding nothing special um, but yeah as you see I just like try to get the knots out as I go so that it's like really smooth also too I, I'll comb out little sections or if I run into tangles just let it again but basically just braid all the way down Too, when I get to the bottom, I just will do bigger sections. But again, I'm just gonna comb out the rest and braid them. Now, so that I have really cute curly ends when I take down my hair and so my ends aren't straight, what I do here is I'll take those little um, rubber bands, those little black ones that are really small, as you can see right here. I'll grab that and I pull my hair through just like normally how you would, but for my last go around, I just pull it halfway through. So it, as you can see, it just creates like a little loop. And that's basically how I end my hair so that uh, my ends aren't straight when my hair's dry. So now I'm just doing, yeah, so happy, one half is gone, oh, so tiring, but yeah, so basically I'm just doing the same thing, I'm just going to show you guys again how I do the ends. And I just pull my baby hairs out. Just fix whatever I feel is necessary. I'm just going to show you guys a close up of my braids. But yeah, that's pretty much just how I braid it. Really make sure my hair is moisturized and that's it. Okay, so I'm coming back to you guys three days later. <laughs> I went camping. So uh, my hair's looking a little rough, but you know, low maintenance hairstyle. I definitely love it for the summer and like definitely when I'm going camping, fun stuff like that. So basically to take down my braids, I've been using um, the Carol's Daughter Hair Honey Shine Pomade. And as you guys will see, it's just, it's kind of like an oily consistency when you rub it together in your hands, but it's not like oil it's kind of like a lighter oil but I really like it because it's also helps me with shine and I've been obsessed with having shiny hair lately and this definitely gives me that and as you definitely can see I've got some frizz so it helps tame down my frizz you just want to carefully take down and try not to pull too much at your hair because that'll create more frizz but I'm just taking it all down So here I'm just going to give you guys a close up of how I, how my hair looks pretty much after I've taken it all down. As you, it's so shiny and it's really pretty. It's so soft too. Um, with the gel, it's not crunchy at all. So I really like it. I really am liking the results with these products. So here it is, just freshly all taken out. And as you can see, it's just so shiny and really pretty. So how to get rid of that ugly part in the back and the parts that are around. And how you can see it's like stuck to my scalp. I use a pick and just fluff it out with my hands and just, you know, zhuzh it up. <laughs> And you see right here, this is what I meant with the parting. See, I part it on the opposite side of how I braided it. And you can see, I just have so much volume from doing that. And you can create a part if you're like me and you just like a crisper part. If you don't like it defined or anything, you know. But you guys can see just how much volume I have here. It's great. 
just a little tip just you know do it the opposite way braid your hair the opposite way as you normally would now to get rid of that ugly part in the back I just pick it out too and as you can see it just disappears my hair doesn't split there anymore after you pick it out so that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe for more videos and thumbs it up if you like and want to see more videos thank you